I'm J.R. Church. Welcome to our webcast from our new studio. We've been talking to you about the Psalms for a few weeks, showing you how the Psalms appear to target particular years in this last century. Book 19 and chapter 48 tells the story of the birth of Israel, which took place in 1948. And of course, there are many other remarkable psalms we've already shared with you. I want to talk to you about Psalm 60 and Psalm 108 today because there's a special verse in both of these. Repeated, the same verse repeated twice. Verse 8 of Psalm 60 says, Moab is my washpot, over Edom will I cast out my shoe. Casting out the shoe over Edom, what does this mean? Well, in the Jewish economy, in the days of the Old Testament, a kinsman redeemer was allowed to redeem the land of his dead brother. Or, if his brother had gone into bankruptcy and lost the family property, then this kinsman redeemer, a brother or even a cousin, could come in with the cash and pay off the debt so that the brother or his family could have their land back again. Because you see, the land was the holy land and not allowed to be sold forever. So a kinsman redeemer was allowed to redeem the land. A kinsman redeemer could also redeem a widow. If a brother died, then his near, nearest kinsman could take that widow as his wife and raise up children unto his dead brother or cousin, whatever it was. So we have in the Bible... The story of Ruth, who was a widow, and her mother-in-law, Naomi, had also become a widow, lost their land. They went into bankruptcy and moved out of Bethlehem, went off over into Moab. And that's where one of her sons married this Moabite girl, this Gentile girl named Ruth. So when Naomi came back home, she wanted to redeem her land, and Ruth wanted to be redeemed as well. So Boaz being a kinsman. Could. He had the opportunity. To redeem Ruth by marrying her. And Naomi's land. By marrying Ruth. And they could get the land back. Okay he could pay for the land. Give it back to Naomi. Well there was a nearer kinsman. Someone who stood between Boaz. And uh, the redemption of the land. And uh, Elimelech's land. And so uh, when Ruth uh, went to Boaz and asked him to redeem her. Uh, and this happened at night on Pentecost night. The next morning they went before the town council. And summoned this nearer kinsman and asked him if he would redeem the land. Well he said that he couldn't redeem the land because it would mar his own inheritance. And so, um, according to the story, either he took off his shoe or Ruth took off his shoe and threw it over her shoulder and then she spit in his face. And this was, this was because he refused to redeem the land. Maybe he refused because he didn't like Elimelech and he didn't want Naomi to have her land back. All right? And, and when God says, over Edom will I cast out my shoe, this is like God saying, I am not going to redeem Edom. I don't like you, Edom. Do you remember the New Testament says that Jacob he loved, Esau God hated? Well, if God hated Esau, then Edom, his, Esau's posterity, would not be redeemed. And so God cast his shoe out and rather than redeeming the land of Edom. So how does this fit with 1960? Nikita Khrushchev came to the United Nations, took off his shoe, and banged it on the table saying, we will bury you. Talking about the United States. In other words, there was no forgiveness. There, there, was, there was no kindness in his heart. He refused to um, have anything to do with the United States. And he threatened to bury us, to take our land away, to take our country away. Okay? So I think it's quite remarkable that in 1960, on the world stage, somebody took off their shoe and banged it on a table. But wait a minute. We come now to Psalm 108, 
where God says again in verse 9, Moab is my washpot over Edom will I cast out my shoe. Do you remember 2008 when President George Bush went to Iraq, to Baghdad, held a news conference, one of the news people there took off his shoe, both shoes, and threw them at our president. Remember seeing it on the news? President Bush ducked one shoe and then he ducked.